If we're here to play, then let's keep on doing what exactly we're doing today. It's a good cause to raise money, so we have for the next 10 years another good cause, which is the BDS. But if we want to win, we have to change our ways. We have to think differently. There is a campaign raging against us, and we have to take it as a campaign on our behalf. So we have to start thinking about it and looking at it from another angle, from another position. And the position is something that I used to do in my former positions in the army. And this is waging a holistic campaign against the other side. Take him out of his comfort zone. Make him be on the defensive, not us. Volunteers, the untapped resource. Everybody in this room could probably show a PowerPoint, make a speech. If you're trained and you know how to stay on message, the volunteer system needs to be put in place in a much better way to educate the masses. That is what the other side is doing. We must go into the high school so the, so the student doesn't arrive in the college looking like, what am I supposed to say now? I don't even know. I love Israel, but what am I supposed to do? And I'll just finish with the four legs of the strategy of Israel, which we are now dealing with. With your permission, ambiguity is part of our guidelines. That's why I'm not gonna say anything too much about each one of the legs. But it is four legs, Let, pay attention, not three. This is the creative side of the Israeli government. Not three legs like in the army, but four legs. The first one is intel, intelligence, or data, or information. Everybody calls it with the, with the word he wants to choose. In the Air Force, coming from the Air Force, when you wanna win, you have to have aerial superiority. If you want to win a campaign, you must have information superiority. And this is exactly the added value, Israel capabilities, technological and otherwise, we can bring to the game, and we are working on that, working very hard. The second leg is deterrence. Everybody out there who has to do anything with BDS should ask himself twice, do I want to be on this side, or do I want to be on the other side? If I'm working with BDS, what is, when I come to the balance of interest, what kind of interest will be affected if I'm dealing with BDS? If I'm submitting to BDS, what would be the effect? By the way, the le legislation here in the United States is a wonderful deterrent uh, tool. We're not involved in that, obviously, but I'm very happy that it happens. The third leg is offense, and you can have array of tools in offense some of them are um, P2P, but they could be offensive. Some of them I'm not going to talk about. And the fourth leg is Hasbara. I just want to say one last thing. Hasbara is not being apologetic all the time. Hasbara, we shouldn't simply try to persuade them that we are right. We should do Hasbara in a very different way. And this is something that all of us should work together. Last thing, and this is the next panel tomorrow, we should work as a coalition, and we are not. Until now, we are a lot of good guys doing wonderful jobs with no synergy between us. We have to remember that the opposite of divestment is not stopping divestment. The opposite of divestment is strategic investment. By investment, I'm talking about strengthening the U.S.-Israel alliance on every conceivable level. You think you can mobilize young people with a brand of block BDS? Then you haven't been interacting with young people. Our best band is not block BDS. Our best brand is Stronger Together. United States and Israel Stronger Together. We've got to forge relationships that were inconceivable a few years ago, new connections between every campus in America and the state of Israel, every community in America and the state of Israel, every institution in America and the state of Israel, and I don't mean over the next 12 months, I mean over the next several decades. When we ask how to combat boycott, we've got two methods in my respect. I don't like going out to demonstrate, I try to avoid confrontation. Instead of boycott, we're in the process of setting a website called Bycott. I'm not joking. We are going to set up a website that will sell Israeli products all over the world 
without going through all the chain stores which are afraid of the protests happening outside them. All I'm concerned about is that the Israeli producers will be able to carry on doing their business, produce and sell, and I don't care if they carry on protesting outside in the streets. When they will see that businesses are not closing down in Israel, and when they will see that the amount of products we're shipping out of Israel are just going higher and higher, they won't have any incentive of carrying on this campaign, which is called Boycott Israel. The other thing is, thank you. The other thing is, we can rely on a lot of partnerships and a lot of organizations and a lot of putting aside ego, which we know is difficult. But at the end of the day, with the current technology, at the current age that we are living, we have all got in our own possession, our own TV channel, our own radio, our own newspaper. We just need to spread the facts. There are enough facts there out there that there will be too many facts to kill a good story. We all need to be partners in this unorganized organization of spreading over the facts. And believe me, when the facts will be there, when they will know how much Palestinians are earning an income within Israeli companies, everything will change. I think rather than fighting BDS per se, which we should do, we should concentrate on reducing and eliminating the credibility of the primary group that promotes hatred of Jews in Israel on campus. We should be delegitimizing the Students for Justice in Palestine, SJP. They neither want justice for, Pal for, pa for Palestine, Palestinians, they don't want a state, they want Israel's destruction. Omar Barghouti, who speaks all the time for SJP, the founder of the BDS movement, in every speech virtually says, we oppose a Jewish state, no rational Palestinian will ever accept a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. He says it openly. We should make it clear, this is who H SJP is, they are nothing less than a hate group. We should have posters, articles, letters, leaflets saying that SJP rallies, SJP people say, and this is shocking, death to Jews, Jews get out of our university, long live the Intifada, go back home, get the F out of my country, drag the Zionists down the street. I hope you don't walk alone on campus, they've said to Jews there, handing out pro-Israel leaflets. You're dirty Jews. They refuse to even co-sponsor uh, or allow anyone to co-sponsor. They fight it uh, with a Jewish group on any issue.